What's up guys, it's Halloween Vids, and just before we get into today's super exciting video, I wanted to give a brief disclaimer that I will only be discussing the animatronics that are currently on Spirit's uh, website roster and have full videos. I will uh, give my thoughts and discussion on um, the other animatronics as they will most likely release in the coming days. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyways, I hope you enjoy. It's like you need a little trimming. A nip here, a tuck there. <laughs> You'll be perfect in no time. Did you see that? I saw that. <laughs> you need to be cut down to size. I've got a hammer, and I hammer in the evening all over this place. <laughs> Alrighty, so today we have 10 animatronics to go through, and we'll start off with the Buzzsaw animatronic. Um, it says he is 6 feet tall, and he goes for $279.99. Do I think it's worth the price? Not at all. Do I think he's cool? Yes. Do I th will I be getting him? Uh, most certainly not, just because I have no need for him. Uh, he won't fit in my haunt anywhere, and like, I don't know. He just seems, he's not my cup of tea. But I do like his animation. It's unique. Not the side turning, because we see that like on everything. But the movement of the saw. Which brings me to my next point, that I do like how the hands are his a hammer and one's a saw. Really cool. I mean, we haven't seen anything like this in a long time, if ever. So I'm super excited to see him. And But it's not something I'll be picking up, personally. Ah, you look like death warmed over, my friend. This is good. Soon there will be enough of us. And we will terrorize the living until we own this night. Are you with me? Tonight is ours! Oh boy, this next one's super exciting. Up next, we have the six-foot Grim animatronic. Um, despite the name being kind of generic, this is awesome. I think it's so cool that we have like a moving skeleton and impressive that it's uh, able to move in such a way without like showing any of the mechanism because like there's no clothing to cover it. it, it I just love every, almost everything about this prop. Um, the hand movement, the head movement looks so, like, natural and not animatronic. The side-to-side -side movement, the mouth movement, the gl the LED glowing moving eyes. He's just awesome. And his phrases are super cool and unique. We haven't seen a skeleton prop like this since that dude whose neck looked like he was having an erection. I don't remember the name of him, but yeah. So this is super cool. Definitely better than that other one. And so excited to see him in stores. Um, I may be picking him up. Most likely not, just because I have my heart set on other ones. But he's still really, really cool. And I'm so excited. There you are. I've been looking for you all night. <laughs> I've come for you in regards to a serious matter. A very grave matter. Take a good look at my face. It will be the last thing you ever see. Right before I seal your coffin for your eternal slumber. Sweet dreams. <laughs> And here is yet again another great animatronic. This is the 5.7 foot, the caretaker animatronic. He is super cool and unique. Now you may be like, well, how is he unique if he's a caretaker? We've seen these like all the time. Yeah, there's just so much about him that stands out from unlike any other. For instance, his position. I can't really tell if he's crouching or sitting, but anyways, it looks super cool. And what else is probably my favorite part about him 
has to be that he has a tombstone on his back like he's carrying it. That's just, to me, super cool and unique. It just proves how he's like a caretaker for the cemetery. He is super cool. And he, he's a relatively really good price of only two hundred and nine ninety nine. Well, yeah, that's expensive, but compared to the other ones, he's cheap. So, yeah, he's super cool. Not much else to say about him because he just think he's awesome. Ride up and pick a card. Hmm, it seems you've picked... The Card of Death! <laughs> Time for a trick! Remember this card! It'll be the last thing... You'll ever see! <laughs> Up next, we have the 5.8 foot Henry Hustler animatronic. He retails for the price of $229.99. While it is a bit on the expensive side, he does have a lot of animation, such as him picking the card, and my favorite, the head pop-up. He gives me such like Peekaboo Penny vibes with the head popping, and like you not expecting it. Just like, it's just so cool. Um, while he's not like the coolest looking clown. Like I think the one from Home Depot, that vintage jester definitely outdoes him in looks. I just am so in love with his animation. Um, he might be one that I get. Again, I still have my heart set on others. Regardless, he's still super cool. I love the design of his clothing. Black and red, we see it, but like the designs of the shapes and stars on it, just super cool. I also love uh, the cards he's holding. <laughs> I think they're really cool. We haven't seen anything like that before. And yeah, that's about all I have to say for him. Just be another awesome prop. Spirit's really killing it this year. Alrighty, up next we have the 7-foot Mr. Howley animatronic, and he retails for $299.99, and I really don't like him, I'm sorry, I know that's probably going to be an unpopular opinion, but I just think we've seen this before from other stores such as Home Depot, and I think he it's missed potential, but I don't like his clothing, it's plaid, and honestly an eyesore for me to look at, furthermore, like, we just, I love towering props, but they all look the same with this, like, positioning, and it was cool in 2017 when they did Towering Clown, but that was four years ago, like, move on, I don't know, just my opinion. I mean, his animation is cool, he's howling, looking up, again, we've seen that before, Um, but he's still really cool, like, eh, actually, no, that's a lie, <laughs> I don't like him at all, but I hope my opinion changes, but I doubt it will, sorry. Thank you! That is why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. I won't. I won't do. Hey, these aren't my rules. Come to think of it, I don't have any rules. <laughs> I'm feeling a little, uh, ooh, anxious, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Been about 600 years, after all. I wonder where a guy, an everyday Joe like myself, could find a little action. <sighs> now, let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. So, say it once. Say it twice. Third time the charm. Just say it. It's showtime. All right. Up next, we have a really exciting one, actually. This is the 5.8 foot Beetlejuice animatronic. He retails for the price $279.99, which I think is a bit much for him, especially saying that, like, all he really does is turn side to side. I know he's licensed, so the price is going to have to go up, but he could have been cheaper, especially if that Pennywise from 20, 2019 was cheaper. But I digress. He is super cool. The detail on him is phenomenal. 
and I think his phrases are uh, unique. Uh, the one issue I do have is his animation looks very robotic. Like his arms are just kind of like out. And I wish they were either just in a different position or uh, moved. But other than that, I think he's super cool. I'm sure there will be Beetlejuice fans that will love to pick him up. I probably won't, though, just because, again, I have my heart set on others. But I'm still excited to see him nonetheless. Alright, up next we have another really exciting one, jeez. Um, the 5 foot shorty animatronic decoration from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is really cool. Now the movie was mediocre in my opinion, but this animatronic is phenomenal. The detail is like superb. Like the face just looks so terrifying. And as you can see, it appears that he does have options to have gloves on and off which I love to see options, just like the Sam from Trick or Treat. But anyways, super cool. And I'm excited to see him in stores. But yeah, that's about all I have to say for him. Super excited. Oh my goodness, another licensed animatronic. This is freaking awesome. I am all for it. This has to be the most licensed animatronics we've seen from Spirit Halloween in a given year. And Ghostface is honestly great. I've seen opinions that say he's stupid, but I think he's cool. Yes, he is a reskin of Hauntress, but the animation fit fits him very well. It's just like in a horror movie when he'd come out and get you. Just I think it's super cool. And this is probably for the Scream movie, which I think was delayed another year, which is unfortunate, but hey, at least we have an animatronic for it. And I'm super excited to see him in stores, and yeah, a huge fan of Scream, by the way. One last thing that I'll quickly mention now, his price is for not phenomenal. He's going for only $129.99, which is perfect, cheap and affordable for people, so I'm sure a lot of people will be getting him this year. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, this next one is interesting. It is the five foot Night Stalker animatronic, and it's is going to sell for one hundred seventy nine ninety nine. While unique, I am kind of weirded out by it. I, I don't know what's going on with him. Like, his arms are, like, detached and hanging, and he's just thrashing back and forth. Now, this is definitely one I'll have to see in person to get my full opinion on, because this video, I don't think, is doing it any justice, because I see a lot of potential here. But, um, I like how he's on a cross. We've never seen that before. That's super cool. I also like um, his head detail. It's cool. The animation for uh, Scarecrow, we have never seen this before. And um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about him. Definitely an interesting one, and I'm excited to see him in stores. I hope he comes out to look really cool. I just love hitting you bozos with my hammer. <laughs> you better watch out, or I'm going to whomp you over the head, too. Oh, please, come a little closer. <laughs> Bad Halloween costumes make me crazy. <laughs> they make me want to pummel things with my hammer. Yes, I think, I think I'm going crazy again. <laughs> All righty. So you know how I said earlier in the video that I already had my heart set on a certain animatronics? 
Uh, yeah, this is the one. I am definitely getting him this year. I have been wanting him since 2013. That year I got Death Row and not him. And every, ever since then, I just wanted him to come back. And this is finally the year. Um, I'm super excited. I'm definitely going to be picking him up. I won't be getting anybody else until I get him. Because I really, really want him. He's just super cool. His detail is phenomenal, like before. Uh, the black light reactiveness is awesome. His phrases are hilarious and probably one of the best we've ever seen on a clown. Um, his light-up eyes are awesome. His clothing is awesome. His mallet is awesome. Oh, it's I just... I am so excited for him. You have no idea. He's one of my favorite animatronics of all time. And this just got me so excited for the 2021 season. I hope you guys are all excited for this season. And that is all I have for today's video. I'm sorry if it was long. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. See ya.